Alright, so here is the video for figuring out the empirical formula of a compound. I'm going to start here on page 231 and do the green practice problems, numbers 1 through 3. <clears throat> and then I'm also going to do page 238, number 50. So go ahead and get your book out and get open to those pages. Um, you can work them all out beforehand and then watch the video or just do them question by question with me or, you know, however you want to do this. So 231 number 1 says that we have a compound that has 63.52% iron and 36.48% sulfur. <clears throat> Sorry, sulfur. And then wants to know what the empirical formula is. So remember, our first step is to say, well, we're going to assume we have 100 grams of this stuff, so we can just get rid of the percent sign and turn it into grams. And then we need to figure out how many moles we have. So we're going to take our 63.52 grams of iron and make our nice little stoichiometry. Molar mass of iron is 55.85 grams per mole and you plug that into your calculator and you're going to get 1.137 moles of iron uh, with sulfur 36.48 grams of sulfur each mole of sulfur has a mass of 32.07 grams and the just a reminder why I'm setting it up with moles on top and grams on bottom is because in my first block I had grams on top and whatever you have on top in one block you usually want to have in the bottom of the next block. So you work that out and you get 1.138. Well, as I'm pretty sure you can look at this and see, wow, these two numbers are pretty much the same. So um, we're going to have end up having a one-to-one -one ratio. So we have iron sulfide. So there's that one. For number two, it says we have a compound that is 26.56% potassium. And we have 35.41% chromium. And there, it says the remainder oxygen. So the way that you figure out how much oxygen you have, you should take 100 because it's a percentage. Uh, and subtract out the two that we already know, and you end up with oxygen being 38.03%. Again, we assume that we have 100 grams, so convert all of these. Just cross out the percentage sign and turn them into grams. And then we need to convert it back to moles. So 26.56 grams of potassium. Molar mass of potassium is... I don't know that. 39? Yes, 39.10. So 39.10 grams per mole. Plug that into your calculator and you get 0 0.6793. Chromium is 35.41 grams. Molar mass of chromium is 50. 51.996, so that's 52.00 grams per mole. Plug that into your calculator and you get almost the same number, 0 0.6810. And then for oxygen, 38.03 grams. 38.03 grams of oxygen. Uh, let's see, the oxygen is 16.00 grams per mole. So that works out to 2.377. Pick your lowest one, which happens to... Oh, man, it's doing that again. Hang on, let me try to fix this. Okay, uh, so this guy is your lowest one, so divide all of them by... 0.6793, and 0.6793. So this one's going to be 1. This one works out to like 1.002, which as far as I'm concerned is 1. And this one works out to 3.5. Remember, we can't have a 0.5, so 
So we've got to take all of these and multiply them by 2, get this out of the way. So you end up with a 2, 2, and 7. So your empirical formula is K2Cr2O7. So these are the two problems that were just like the ones we did in class. The next video will have two examples that are a little bit different than what we had in class. So make sure you watch both videos.